it's important that we give our kids a sense of history of, of who their ancestors were and the contribution that we made to this country because the history books don't tell it. The United States government does not recognize the Chickahominy people. They do not recognize us as sovereign subjects. They do not recognize a government-to-government -government relationship with uh, the Chickahominy tribe. When I think of the fact that, that Britain still recognizes a treaty between the various Indian tribes and the Crown, and the United States doesn't recognize the sovereignty of these indigenous peoples who were actually here, who helped Jamestown survive. You know, it, it's, it's past ironic. It, it's absurd. Our tribe is the Chickahominy tribe. We've been told that means the coarse pounded corn people. We're actually pretty big. A thousand people makes us the second largest in the state. Being federally recognized makes us eligible for certain programs that we you know, could apply for. And that it could be things like um, documenting our history a little bit better, particularly oral history, uh, things that don't, will eventually be lost. And so federal recognition certainly would help that. The Racial Integrity Act of 1924 decreed there were no Indians in Virginia. You were either white or colored. And on paper, it seemed that there were no Native Americans in Virginia. We are still reeling. Uh, you know, under the consequences uh, of that simple statement that was made, there are no Indians in Virginia. I remember growing up, some of the kids would go to a local joint and they'd go in the back door and they'd get a beer and have to drink it outside. Well, I would die of thirst before I would do that. Uh, but that's just, that's the reality we faced. Uh, had we been recognized by the federal government, even at that time, I believe things would have been different. This, this is a picture of my grandfather, uh, Chief O.W. Atkins. You know, people often ask me, why are the Chickahominy people applying for federal recognition? One reason that probably greater than any is just an affirmation of who we are. I'll go talk to school kids and they'll ask you, do, do you live in TPs? Uh, do you still ride horses? You know, and do your kids ever go to Walmart? To me, the, these events are important to um, all of the tribes, particularly with Chickahominy. We've been doing our powwows uh, for 60 plus years now. It's a way to continue our culture, to keep it moving forward. It's a way of sharing the culture with um, other people, and it's a way to, to show people that we, we, do, we do value our culture and we do try to continue to carry it on.